What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the J&J All-Star Show up in Louisville. It was really, really good. Um, I only sold the two people, but sold in a, I guess you could say, a big volume with, I know, three people. I think about three people to where, you know, I made good money for the day. So, during the show, I guess it was around 11 o'clock, I knew a guy had all these value boxes. As I said, set up as a dealer. And then still buying value boxes in bulk. I went over and looked, and he was running some, like, really, really good special. So I picked out a stack of um, golf because nobody was buying the golf autos. And I knew some of these dudes were and girls were Hall of Famers. So I was like, you know what? I got a stack. Give me a good deal. He goes, hey, are you coming back? And I said, yeah, towards the end of the show, once I lock up my cards, I'll come back over. He pulled it out. We well together. We pulled out 183 golf autos and relics. He gave it to me at a super deal. I mean, this is just one stack. I'm not going to go through every one of these golf autos because you guys would be bored out of your mind. And I don't know if they're hits or misses, but you know, it's a lot of look at just look at this. These are all autos. Some of them are like oh, let me try to pull the camera back some. <clears throat> try not to knock the stuff over. I mean, I never heard them. I asked some other guys that are more into golf. They're like, "Wow, where were these at? Look at that filthy patches, all up her deck too." I mean, some cool stuff into them. Let me pull these down. But I just wanted to show you guys. That's a hundred and eighty-three that I bought. These are all going to Calm C to fill up my stuff. And the price he gave them to me for, I figured it. You know, I'm not probably gonna look up every single one of them, but if at the price, they sell between 3 and $5. If I could sell, like, a half of them, I've made money. The other half could sit there. I have no issue with it. But really cool to get a bulk deal like that done. Now, I'll show you some of the highlights here as I put this stuff away. And I did buy from one other person who came around selling at the show. And I'll show you that stuff, too. All right. So, we still got stacks, guys. Stacks here. I'm going to push this kind of like this so I don't hit it. This was in his hockey stuff. But, I mean, again, he gave me a crazy deal, which I was so happy for. I mean, with what I spent today, you know, I wanted or sold. I wanted to buy stuff that I could use for column C because it was a lot of, like, low-end autos. Like, oh, I'm trying to think here. It was the NT Derrick Henry Collegiate RPA. Stuff like that there all moved that I... You know, I was like, what the heck? Still came with cash back, too. And paid for my tables for the big event at the Monster this uh, June. So that's confirmed, guys. Tables are paid for, two of them. So we got Jeff Carter autograph. Another Jeff Carter. I know a lot of people are down on him because Pittsburgh is old, blah, blah, blah. But the dude was a monster for a while. Miko Rantanen. This is a rookie from um, Champs. And, or Upper Deck. Uh, I, forget, it was, I think it was Goodwin Champs. And it's the jersey piece. Cool piece. The gold Kevin Stevens. Another gold Kevin Stevens. These come in silver and golds. Chris Draper. These are all names that I knew. Rob Blake's auto. Sorry, guys. Let me go like this. Because I got to still take all these out and put them into clean stuff. But Scott Niedemeyer. Chris Pronger. That is just so cool. And look, look at the back of the day. You just get this big old piece on the back. Congratulations. And then I talk about your auto and everything. How many people remember Ziggy Palfi? that was a hockey player? He went to the Penguins eventually. Valerie Burry. Does anybody know why he's famous? Not just because he's probably related to Pavel? I'm waiting. I don't see in the comments yet. Probably because we're not live. So Valerie Burry actually married the oldest girl from Full House. Um, Cameron. What was her name? Something Cameron. I can't remember now. Candace Cameron? Something like that? You guys will put in the thing. And yeah, another Kevin Stevens auto. He is a great... Uh, Roman Hammerlick. This guy had so much potential and hype back in the day. This is like early 90s. Um, Rob Niedemeyer auto. Ryan Miller, Relic. Another Jack Johnson auto. This is out of SPX, out of 999. I don't know if that was a rookie one. I know I found some rookies. Dion Phaneuf auto. These are all BIA players. David Perrone. Maxim Talbot, uh, he was actually really big in Pittsburgh with his game, uh, uh, final game against the Red Wings for the Stanley Cup. 
Mike Comrie. All right, who's he married to, guys? Mike Comrie. Hillary Duff. I'm almost positive it was Hillary Duff. Jack Johnson Auto again. Another Jeff Carter. Another Dion Phaneuf. Phaneuf. Another Comrie. Mike Green. This dude, man, was good on the caps. Uh, another Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson rookie exclusives. I have 100 auto. Maxim Talbot. Uh, Pavel Dimitra relic. That's something that was different. And Joe Thornton. That stuff there is all like good stuff for me to put on to Com C. And I mean, this stuff sells for pretty decent money to where, you know, he gave me a lot of wiggle room on. That's just hockey. All right, let me put hockey away. Let's go to other sports before we go into golf and stuff like that. And I do have a football card at the end for you there, Wildcat. I know you're watching. So these were, again, all in different types of boxes. He just gave me the price at the end. I was like, done. Um, Henrich, Otto. A lot of people still buy his stuff. This is racing. Carl Edwards. Vroom, vroom. Press pass out of 100. So he had a mark to 10, but I think they were like... Oh, I want to say it was... I think they were five dollars. He had a card, or they were. I think it was like five for twenty. He still gave me even lower because it's the amount I bought. It was crazy. Mike Piazza relic, old leaf. Sammy Sosa relic. Carlos Lee auto. And I just remember having Carlos Lee stuff recently, early this year, and what it sold from, like getting it. Billy Williams relic. Uh, Jim Tomei. CBC, if you actually still watch the videos, guess what's coming to you? I got you two Tome relics. Kind of cool. Put them off to the side so I can remember. Um, Tom Glavin, bat piece. Sorry, let me go like this, because I've been like trying to hold the cards and stuff. There, there's a Glavin bat piece. I didn't pay 10 I think on like a lot of this stuff, I paid like 2 or 3 bucks max. Dirk, this was a more of an expensive box, but he still cut way down. Top's finest with the protective on a fair. If it doesn't look good to grade, it'll just get sold. Um, same with this Giovanni Soccer, Reina. Cool Jordan. Didn't really look at it, just was cool in the box. The big picture, I remember these. This Kobe Flight Team. PSA 9s were doing like 150 bucks. So I took a stab at it. Oh, those are CBCs or Joey's stuff. I got to put that in his pile. All right, so those are those. Them in there. All right, this is all the golf stuff. I believe it's all golf. I might have missed some stuff, if not. I'll tell you some of the names. Like, I don't know who Beth Daniel is, but he had it marked at 10, or Hall of Famer. Um, it might be a $3 card. It could be a $5 card. He gave me way under that for this stuff. Um, Tom Kite, Tour Swatch, Curtis Strange, I knew the name. Uh, Rory Sab Sabatini, it's a rookie auto, I don't know. Like I said, all the stickers on it are way off what I paid. Scott Stallings, Marco Miria, Kenny, Kenny Perry, no idea. That's out of Goodwin Champs. Colin somebody. I can't see the name. Let me go in the back. Oh, well, yeah, we're not. It's like Monte Gomer or something. Yeah. Jerry Kelly. Um, rookie of Karen Cock. Yep, I can already see the comments with that name. It's not Koch, it's Cock. We found out. Meg Milan. Uh, Peter Jacobson. Christian Kerr or Christy Kerr. Try to find the other one. I think the better ones are towards the bottom that I found. Yep, I already see one. Let's see here. I don't know. Another Stallings Auto. Andy North. Collie. Is York? I'm guessing. Beth Daniels again. Sarah Brown. Kylie Stanley. Oh, a Mike Piazza relic. I didn't have that in the right stack. I had a Piazza. I was, like, going crazy earlier. Um, Shawn Michael. Not to be confused with Shawn Michaels from the WWE. Beth Daniel again. Jeff Ogilvy. I heard the name. That's why I picked it up. Actually, I just picked them all up. 
Because nobody touched the stuff. Kevin Kisner, I've heard of him before. And this is out of uh, 15. K with a gold letter. Uh, just cool. I know some of you guys are bored of golf. Chi Chi Rodriguez, I definitely heard of him from back in the day. Adam Scott, never heard of him. But he, uh, he was talking about him. I don't know. Letter marks again. Luis Oost. This, yep, I got the name wrong. Fred Couples. That's one some of you guys should know. Ink Drivers. Good golfer. I don't know. Goosen. Tom Kite. Another Chi Chi Rodriguez. Dull Relic. That's just cool. Oh, sorry, guys. Cool Relic. Um, Jason Duffner. Black Diamond out of 49. Yeah, I didn't look all these up. I didn't really have time on to it. But some cool stuff in the golf. All right, I'm going to take these so I don't knock stuff over, guys. We're almost done. Only two cards left. Just got to think where I got to put these over here. All right, so I had a guy come to the table and did a little deal, cash deal. Up first, Kenny Pickett, Camo Pink. These are, like, really cheap. They're, like, 25 30 bucks now. So what the heck? But the thing that I picked up that I liked was the Herbert glass mosaic or stained glass. Well, it's not stained glass. It's just mosaic glass now, they call it. But PSA 9, really surprised. 2021s are doing $120 in a 9. Herbert stuff has just dropped immensely. So I think, I, yeah, I picked both these up for 100 I believe. Pretty sure. So look, I saved football for the end, but they weren't bangers. I do apologize, Wildcat. I do. But, yeah, basically the show itself, now I'll talk a little bit about it, and then I'm going to cut the video, guys. Really good um, being able to pick up mass lots in bulk. If I wouldn't have came there as a seller, I would have probably stayed at that guy's table and spent an easy $1,000, and probably we'd have been doing a three-hour video. No joke whatsoever onto it. Um, a lot of people, a lot of guys I know set up there. A couple of met knew me from uh, the YouTube land. Everybody talked really good about it, except for a few vendors. I'm not too sure, you know, why their sales were low. I, I have no idea. Uh, I'm trying to think here. But there was good traffic flow. It started dying down around noon. That's whenever I started packing up so I can go back over. As you guys know, I've been buying a lot of stuff for ComC to build the port up. The idea was, you know... I was trying to find, like, a really nice card to buy, but there just was nothing there that, like, gave me the goo-goo ah, -ah. if it was. It was just like, well, I'm in it for this amount type deal, and it's not even close to what it's selling for, and I'm not going to overpay on a card. I mean, it would really depend on what that card is and how much I'm overpaying for, but, um, yeah, not doing it just off of something I just like. It's not something I really, really, really want. Try to think here. That was really about it. Um, stuff that sold a lot of football, a few basketball, and a lot of baseball. Uh, a lot of my, all my Vlad Jr. autos sold in a deal. That's the, I was trying to think here, because we were talking, I was talking about an earlier in a video, the, oh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Derrick Henry, NT Collegiate Auto, the 101 Sean Alexander from Score that had, uh, Kenneth Walker on it. The Brady Revolution, Pacific Revolution, PSA 6 rookie sold. Gronk Contenders, PSA 9 sold. Um, those are the ones I can remember off the, like, the very top of my head. There was a few other cards in the bigger deal that I did with a gentleman. Uh, but a lot of the stuff in it, I was in it for very low amounts just from where I picked it up at and can work it into where... If I was to sell it on eBay, you know, I would be at this amount, and then I gave him a little bit off onto that in case he wanted to go that route. I just don't like doing a lot of raw cards on eBay. I usually have other people do it, just I don't have to put up the frustration onto it. But that's really about it. Like I said, really good show. Uh, be the last one I'm set up as a dealer at for at least till April, uh, due to tax season. Um. Uh, confirmed. Tables are already paid for for the Midwest Monster up in Indianapolis, June, I think it's 7th and 8th. 
it's a Friday and Saturday. Just look for around those days if I'm off. I'm off by like a day or something. But if you're around that area, come by. I don't know where I'll be set up at probably to the day of the show. I might do a quick like video live or something for you guys on YouTube. But other than that, like I said, I had fun at the show. I got to pick up and do what I wanted to do. This at least gives me about three weeks of stuff to send to Com C to add to my port. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for probably the card shows for this year. Kind of crazy, huh? We're already on December. Well, today's the 9th of December. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be hitting any more card shows up. I think we're going to look at maybe some Goodwill auctions, maybe for some videos, see what come in the boxes, the mystery. Um, from what I could see offhand. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or bad idea. Maybe we'll try to see if we do a Facebook uh, collection pickup or something small at the end of the year. Something like that. But other than that, appreciate it. as always you guys sticking through the video. I wasn't going to show you guys 183 Relic and Autos uh, out, of, out of the uh, Golf. But I at least wanted to show you some of the better stuff. Uh, of at least the people I heard or other people have heard. And then a little bit of the other stuff that I picked up just in mass bulk. All right, guys, that is it. Appreciate it. I about catch you guys next video. And eventually, the stuff will get caught, launched, or launched, I should say, put into Com C. They're just finally working my packages from like a month ago. But as always, Com C link is in the description. All right, guys, this time I'm out. Later.